Today on the show, a space mystery, Facebook rumor, chips for dips, and pirates planning to pilfer protective pictures parse a path to pillage and profit. This is TechSpain. The year was 1983. This was the fashion. He was the president. I was just over a year old. And Pioneer 10 was finally leaving our solar system after being sent out in 1972 on a mission to take photos of the planets. Since then, it's just been going farther and farther out in space. Now, over 35 years later, it's going at over 27,000 miles per hour, and something, scientists don't know what, is slowing it down. Scientists first thought it was gas escaping from the nuclear rockets, or heat from the sun, or other planets, or gravity, but nothing fits. So is it aliens, some totally new force of the universe that we've never heard of before? Scientists just have no idea. The point is, something, and we have no idea. What is slowing the probe down, and it makes no sense to us? In an interview with The Telegraph, Dr. Duncan Stell of Salford University says, it might alter the number of comets that come towards us over millions of years, which would have consequences for life on Earth. It also raises the question of whether we know enough about the laws of gravity. Pretty intense stuff. Or it could just turn out to be something really stupid and boring that's slowing it down. But we'll keep you posted. On Sunday, the internet was going crazy about Facebook potentially building a phone. Why should I care, you ask? You shouldn't. I couldn't give less of a fuck. There's a new Android phone out every week, and to think Facebook will come up with some garbage that's sure to suck doesn't exactly sound like news. But it's all over the web, so I thought you should know, and that's just the kind of guy I am. Now, Facebook quickly came out and refuted the TechCrunch story that started the whole rumor, and said they are in no way, shape, or form working on a phone. Case closed. Now, are they lying? Who knows? The important thing is that the TechSpank Facebook fan page has over 140 likes. Thank you. And if you're not a fan yet, I highly recommend you go check it out. There's all sorts of random posts, like this one. From the what the f were you thinking files, Intel has decided to sell chips that come with features disabled that you'll have to pay for if you want to use them. The Pentium 7951 comes with a megabyte of L3 cache and hyperthreading turned off until you buy a $50 unlock code, which turns it into the G6952. So what's all that mean? Well, Intel's being retarded. Also, if anyone actually knows what the megabyte of L3 cache is and hyperthreading is for, they wouldn't be buying a f***ed up chip with shit turned off in the first place, leaving us wondering, what the f*** were you thinking, Intel? What the f were you thinking? Anyway, those of you looking to see what the fuss is all about can head over to Best Buy or a store like it and pick up a cheapo computer, then find out if it's got the processor that can be upgraded. Then go buy a card like this one and try it out and then go smack yourself in the face for being such a moron. The reason they're doing this is partially because chips have become so easy to make and so reliable that the normal limitations on low-end chips just aren't there anymore, so they have to put in artificial ones to try and squeeze a few more bucks out of consumers that don't know any better. Anyway, if Intel wasn't sh bricks over that boneheaded chip thing, maybe this will get their depends soggy. Did you know that your TV, PS3, Blu-ray player, computer, cable box, and more all have something called HDCP built into it? It stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. You may have known that, but did you know that it was just cracked? The code was posted on pastebin.com anonymously, and if someone wanted, they could use this code to build a chip that would play copyrighted content without any protections or without paying Intel the licensing fees for the HDCP chips that they make. So, the motion picture groups that insisted that HDCP technology be built into almost every digital product we make could have done it for nothing. When asked about it, Intel actually confirmed that there is a master key to the protections out there, and people could, in theory, start making perfect copies of Hollywood movies and TV shows. Tom Waldrop from Intel says, as a practical matter, that's a difficult and costly thing to do. We believe that this technology will remain effective. Yes, Tom, because these hackers have so much other stuff to do. Let's see, they've messed with the iPhone, Windows, PS2, PSP, DS, Wii, cable boxes, satellite TV, f door locks, public signs, traffic lights, the military, TV stations, radio stations, yeah. They're obviously not interested in wasting time and money and trying to get around security. Intel, like a girl on prom night, just give it up. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I'm James Papadopoulos, and I'll see you next time. And pirates planning to pilfer protected pictures parse a path to pillage and profit. This is TechSpank. Pirates planning to pilfer profit. The year was 1983. The year was 1983. This was the fashion. He was the president.